Welcome back, you beautiful people. You are with your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso. We are live on SABC3. Thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us on this beautiful Tuesday morning. So we are deep within lockdown, day 19. And look, on the one hand, lockdown has brought families closer together and allowed us to connect in new ways. We've seen it happen all over the country and indeed all over the world as well. But on the other hand, we've lost our sense of routine, especially with the kids being out of school but Ultra Dog are encouraging all the parents out there to keep the, their kids busy and teach them a sense of responsibility by getting them actively involved with their pets on a daily basis. Now, here to share ways in which we can all do this is veterinarian Dr. Kareen Brink. Dr. Kareen Brink, good morning. So good to have you this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, you look stunning, first of all, let me just say. And I think that that coffee at your house, you've got to send us some because if that's how you look, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I will for sure. <laughs> Dr. Brink, tell us how can parents teach their kids a sense of responsibility by getting them involved with the pets on a daily basis? Okay, owning a pet is a huge, huge responsibility of itself. So, from a very young age, you can start with age appropriate tasks. Like my little girl, when she was three years old, she started helping me keep the dogs and the cats and she's six now and now she's doing it on her own i mean they can feed the animals they can pick up their wastes and when they're older in their teens they can take them for a daily walk obviously when the lockdown is over now you're not going to start it now but what you must remember is just with children under 12 to do gentle coaxing and reminding of in the tasks daily until it becomes a routine for them to do it Mm, and you certainly can take them along the journey and get them into that routine. Yes, well, let's talk yes. about the games because there are lots of games, it seems, that, uh, and activities certainly that kids can do with their pets. What are some of these that you like? The ones that I like is to go and do a game of doggy dancing where you go and dance a little bit with your dogs around the lounge and the kids like it, they love it, they love music. They can play a game of fetch, a tug, uh, tug of war with a rope or a toy. They can blow bubbles. Some dogs love to chase bubbles. Yes. Especially cats, they like to chase bubbles. Yeah. They can toss a frisbee. Dogs like that as well. They can build an obstacle course. Or they can even hide a treat away and then the pet needs to find it. That's just a few ideas, but it's quite a lot if you go and do research on it. Mm. I think one thing that we've paid a lot of attention to on this show on a daily basis is exercise, uh, specifically when it comes to us, just getting us moving. But we know that our pets need the exercise too. How, how much yeah. exercise would you say a dog should get every day? It depends on the age of dog, the mm. breed of dog, the overall health of dog, and also, you know, if the dog is um, still a puppy or a geriatric, but 30 minutes to two hours, which oh. I think provides a fantastic opportunity during this lockdown to keep our kids fit and busy by letting them entertain the pets and keeping yes. the pets active. I love yeah. it. I like that it's great because, yes, it certainly does keep the kids active too. And a lot of people have been complaining about not being able to walk their dogs, but I think that there are many ways within the household that you certainly can get your dogs and your pets, yeah. your pets, all of them active at the same time and get your kids involved in the process as well. So, uh, yes. Dr. Kareen, if kids are teaching the pets new tricks or basic obedience, uh, what treats do you recommend that they use as a reward? Because we know that our pets do like a bit of a reward, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> um, obviously, it needs to be dog-friendly or cat-friendly. But with dogs, just make sure it's a really small treat because you want to entice and encourage the dog to do the trick, number one. So if it's not something they like to eat, they're not going to do the trick. But the secret is to keep it very small because if you keep your treats too big, then oh, you will see weight gain in your dogs. That will be the one thing. And the other thing is they will become too full you know, before they actually manage to succeed with the trick. Yeah. So the tip there is not making it bigger than the size of your pinky. And stuff that I used to advise the people in puppy training is to use small pieces of cooked chicken, viannas, cheese, liver bread, or apples or carrots that entice them to do the tricks. And one thing that they do love is cat food. Like one cat kibble, a treat you can use as well when you teach them. 
Ah, uh, it sounds like portion control is just as important for the pets. I mean, I suppose we wouldn't yeah. go out and exercise and then come back and eat a full chicken and a loaf of bread, which you? No. no, you wouldn't. No. <laughs> Don't do it to your dogs. Ah, uh, Dr. Kareen Brink, you are absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your time this morning for joining us. I think that this has inspired so many people out there to head out and do some fun and interesting things with their kids, first of all, to teach them that sense of responsibility, but also to get the kids and the pets moving at the same time. Uh, I think it's yeah. feeling too bad with one stone. Thank you so much for that. It's a huge pleasure. <laughs> well, courtesy of Ultra Dog this week, we're going to be giving away five personalized hampers this entire week, personalized hampers uh, for your pet to the value of 2,000 rand. Now, each hamper includes Ultra Dog's veterinary, veter veterinary, veterinary vet quality, vet quality and scientifically engineered dog food, plus toys and grooming essentials that suit your pet's unique needs. Now, to stand a chance of winning today's hamper, head to the Expresso Facebook page. That's Expresso Morning Show. SABC3 and share a photo of your child with their pet on the competition post and tell us about their special bond. Uh, there are four hampers left up for grabs. Yesterday we gave away one and there will be a winner every single day. So make sure that you enter. If you want those terms and conditions, you can find them on expressoshow.com. Good luck. Get entering.